in metrology and the fields that it serves, total indicator reading, also known by the newer name full indicator movement, is the difference between the maximum and minimum measurements, that is, readings of an indicator, on the planar, cylindrical, or contoured surface of a part, showing its amount of deviation from flatness, roundness, cylindricity, concentricity with other cylindrical features, or similar conditions. The indicator traditionally would be a dial indicator. Today dial type and digital indicators coexist. The earliest expansion of TI was total indicated runout and concern cylindrical or tapered parts, where runout refers to any imperfection of form that causes a rotating part such as a shaft to run out, that is, to not rotate with perfect smoothness. These conditions include being out of round, eccentricity, or being bent axially. The purpose of emphasizing the total in TI was to duly maintain the distinction between per side differences and both sides considered differences, which requires perennial conscious attention in lathe work. For example, all depths of cut in lathe work must account for whether they apply to the radius or to the diameter. Similarly, in shaft straightening operations, where calibrated amounts of bending force are applied laterally to the shaft, the total emphasis corresponds to a bend of half at magnitude. If a shaft has 0.1 mm TIR, it is out of straightness by half at total, that is, 0.05 mm. Today TIR in its more inclusive expansion, total indicator reading, concerns all kinds of features, from round to flat to contoured. One example of how the total emphasis can apply to flat surfaces as well as round ones is in the topic of surface roughness, where both peaks and valleys count toward an assessment of the magnitude of roughness. Statistical methods such as root mean square duly address the total idea in this respect. The newer name full indicator movement was coined to emphasize the requirement of zero cosine error. Whereas dial test indicators will give a foreshortened reading if their tips are on an angle to the surface being measured, a drawing callout of FIM is defined as referring to the distance traveled by the extremity of the type of euro not by the lesser amount that its lever-like action moves the needle. Thus a FIM requirement is only met when the measured part itself is truly in geometric compliance a euro not merely when the needle sweeps a certain arc of the dial. The TIR abbreviation is still more widely known and used than FIM. This is natural given that many part designs that are still being manufactured are made from decades old engineering drawings, which still say TIR. And generations of machinists were trained with the term TIR, whereas only recent curriculum uses FIM. However, as new students are trained and experienced machinists broaden their continuing education, FIM is becoming more familiar. See also, flatness, geometric dimensioning and tolerancing, engineering drawing. References, http, www.engineers.com Engineering Terms Glossary Total Indicator Reading Ter 4448 HTM.